thanks for watching. I have collaborated with Thin Tea to bring you this review of two of their products. They sent me Thin Tea in both Detox Blend and their Fat Burn Blend. They also have a 28 day plan, which I've seen on social media. And actually I am on my third week of using these tea products. So first of all, the Detox Blend, this one you drink every morning with breakfast. This is made with organic fennel seed, organic nettle leaf, marshmallow leaf, organic juniper berry, organic dandelion root, and organic rose petal. And these six active ingredients help to alkalize your body, cleanses and detoxifies, and also reduces bloating. The second blend is a fat burn blend, and this is the second tea that you would drink just before dinner. This is made with organic peppermint, olive leaf, dandelion leaf, hawthorn leaf and flower, coleus root, organic cinnamon, and ginger root. And these seven ingredients help to speed up metabolism, suppress your appetite, and also burns fat. This is a 100% Australian owned company packed in Melbourne, Australia. It's made from both local and imported ingredients and they ask you to store it in a cool, dry place. Also, these thin tea blends are 100% natural, gluten-free, dairy, caffeine, preservative, and additive-free, and there are also no harmful laxatives in either of these products, which is really great. Now, I have used teas to help like with slimming or not necessarily detoxing. My mother is actually the one who introduced me to slimming teas. I don't know, like maybe 15 years ago or, or since then, like in the last 15 years, there are slimming teas or teas that help um, you digest uh, your food or whatever. They're more so laxative type teas, which um, are very, I don't know, I think they're very harsh on the body. I remember when I first started using it, I thought, oh my God, this is great. You can eat whatever you want and then <laughs> you can flush everything out, um, you know, the next few days later. But I just found them to be so harsh on the body. I mean, if you weren't next to a bathroom when that stuff kicked in, uh, it could get very, very ugly. So I had to time it right and then um, I just didn't feel you know, that great after using it, um, you know, every so often. If I felt like I had like a giant meal or I just didn't have like the right digestion going on with my body, I would reach for those, but you'd have to be very careful because they're so potent. And so I don't, you know, recommend it to anyone. Definitely talk to your doctor before starting anything um, like that, drinking teas like that, just to make sure that you are doing good for your body. And so I wanted to, do a little bit more research. I watched other reviews, tried to see what other people were talking about with you know these teas and with other companies and other brands. And I found myself agreeing with a lot of the reviews for Thin Tea. So like I said, I'm actually on my third week of using Thin Tea. As you can see, you get plenty of product in here. Just because it says 14 day detox doesn't mean that by the 14th day, you're gonna be completely out of the product, out of the tea. I still have plenty of loose leaf tea in here that I'm still using every day and I'm enjoying it. For me, I have had two kids. My second child is now 14 months old, over a year, and my first child is now four. Before I had children, I was a dancer and I worked out religiously. You know, I've been working out probably since I was like 17, so that was, oh, I don't know, over two decades ago. So I've always been very fit. I love working out. I love eating healthy, um, I, but I also love eating sweets and I don't mind grabbing like a burger and you know just really getting down and dirty with you know really delicious food that might not be the healthiest for you but I also would love to reach for salads and vegetables and drink lots of water so I have a good balance with my meal choices and just a healthy lifestyle but after I had kids I found myself to be very lazy, which is so strange. I never ever thought that I would like want to skip the gym or not want to like be active. But after I had my first kid, I was like, ugh, I just love sitting there with my daughter and staring at her for hours and not wanting to do anything. I would start to like walk around the neighborhood and everything like that, but I didn't like rush back to the gym. I found myself slowly going to the gym after she was like one, one and a half years old. And so I started getting back into the routine. However, 
when we started thinking about having a second kid, I was like, cool, I'm just gonna let my body go. I'm gonna be pregnant anyways, and I'll just worry about working out afterwards. Now that I've had my second kid, I, my mom is small, she has a petite frame, so genetics wise, I've been blessed with that type of figure as well. And so people say, oh my gosh, you know, you're already skinny, you're so skinny. When I was pregnant, I had everything sucked out of me and into like my pregnancy. And so I looked really skinny, especially like my face and my limbs and everything, because everything was going to my baby, which is great. But you know, I, I had to make sure that I was healthy internally as well as you know what I looked like on the outside. But knowing me and how much I worked out, I was definitely, my body was definitely going through atrophy, which means you're just kind of losing your muscle and your core strength and everything, which is horrible. So I don't recommend doing what I did. I, um, I would go for long walks and like do a little bit of stretching and exercises at night when my kids were down, but nothing like what I was doing before. I was an NFL cheerleader right before I had kids. So I mean, working out like a beast, like every single day is what was just the norm for me. So now that I've had two kids and haven't worked out really in like a couple of years, <laughs> I need to get back to how I was before. I am thin, however, I am not as strong as I used to be. And so I wanna find that balance where I can feel strong and look strong, but um, not necessarily want to lose weight, but I want to like not feel bloated. So thank goodness Thin Tea contacted me because I would have never tried any of these detox teas. I really didn't find, I don't know, the benefit. I didn't really believe in it. Um, but now that I've tried it, I am here to share my story with you. So now that I've been drinking this tea for about three weeks now and still going strong, I can honestly say that I see a difference in my, I don't know, it's like my, my obviously, like my midsection and just my body overall. I feel like my skin and I didn't think that I would get like an energy boost from them, but I did. And this detox tea blend here really helped with bloating um, making me feel it just felt lighter and more clean I guess it says that you should strictly follow the thin tea eating plan and I have to be honest I I didn't follow any type of thin tea eating plan I'm sorry but I didn't knowing that I am a mom and have chosen to just do what I do normally for my eating plan and not stick to their eating plan, you know you could do it too. And so just trying to follow a meal plan just wasn't realistic for me. So if you're a mom and you're thinking about, you know, maybe this de de detox tea isn't gonna be right for me, I am here to tell you that you can still do it, you can still follow the, the tea plan, but not necessarily following a meal plan. Now with that, I do eat healthy. I drink lots of water, I drink lots of tea besides this stuff. I am a tea drinker, but I also have like one cup of coffee in the morning. But I love having sweets once in a while. And you know, I'll have a taco or you know, chicken fingers and stuff like that. So it's just a nice balance that I've always had my entire life. So if you struggle with that and you don't always eat healthy, then following the strict thin tea eating plan is gonna be right for you. And with this fat burn blend, drinking this just before dinner definitely helps to suppress your appetite. Not that you're gonna look at food and think, oh my God, I don't wanna eat anything, and then you starve yourself. No, definitely not that. I'm still hungry. I still feed myself plenty of food and stay fueled throughout the day, but it helps you to like feel full faster. Don't be afraid of the fat burn blend thinking that you're like not gonna eat at all because I'm still nursing my baby and that was one of the concerns for me. The very first question that I had after they contacted me was, is this safe for breastfeeding? I did notice that the ingredients in here were very similar to some of the teas that I currently drink right now along with my lactation tea that I drink to like help boost my milk. And so I knew that it was safe, but I was just worried you know, I wanted to get the guarantee from them and it's totally fine. It hasn't changed anything about my milk, hasn't changed anything about my baby. Um, you know, there's no stimulants in this 
tea blend, so it didn't affect his sleeping patterns or his nighttime sleep. Everything has been exactly the same. So plus plus for anyone who wants to use this tea and is still nursing as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you a photo of day one when I first started these teas. As you can see, I still have, you know, a pooch. Obviously, I'm gonna, I, gonna have a pooch. I've had a pooch for my whole life, but um, it's just a little bit more prominent after I've had my second child. And mind you, I haven't even been working out. My workouts are taking care of my kids and running errands and picking up my hefty little boy and my four-year-old girl. So that's my workout. But this is what I look like um, first thing in the morning. And I took this photo day one of starting these teas. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you a photo of uh, day 14, I took it day 14, the morning of, and you can see the difference. It's all in the photos. I honestly didn't think that it was going to do anything for me. That's just my honest opinion. But from the photos, as you can see, it legit worked. And like I said about my eating, like my whole eating habits, I didn't change anything about the way I ate. I still ate you know, everything healthy that I normally eat, drank tons of water like I normally do, had a cup of coffee in the morning. I still drank my other teas that I normally drink and along with this tea blend, these tea blends. And then I still had like my cheat days and my sweets and ice cream and um, you know, little things that I would normally eat. Pirate's booty. I eat pirate's booty so much, probably way too much that I should admit. And I didn't like, start working out all of a sudden because I was drinking these thin tea detox teas and I wanted to like really have a difference. I just did my normal thing and the only thing I did different was start drinking these teas and this is the result that I have. So if you're a mom, if you haven't like started working out but you want to have like a kickstart, if you're already eating healthy but you haven't seen any changes in your body, then girlfriend, you need to try these teas. I didn't think they were going to work and they work. So that is it for this review. If you guys have any questions at all, please leave them down below. I would love to hear your comments, especially if you've tried these teas before. Let me know what you think, or if you haven't and you're still on the fence, if you have any questions at all, please ask me down below. Thank you so much Thin Tea for collaborating with me. You guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye.